Hi guys, it's Ronnie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sort of vlogging, sort of showing you guys the process. You guys know I love to try out new things and today I'm going to be trying to make this bow bag that I saw on, I want to say Pinterest first, maybe Instagram. I will link down below the actual pattern by the original creator because I believe in supporting the original artist, but I'm not very good at following patterns, so I'm going to make mine up as I go along. This is not a tutorial. Again, if you want to make the bag, I will leave their pattern down below. Well, I'll leave the link to their pattern so you can go support them. but. Yeah, I'm just gonna do what I normally do, and I'm gonna look at something, and then I'm gonna try to make it. I'm going to pick out my yarn, and the, the process of picking my yarn is pretty much just, do I have a set of yarn that has enough to make a bag? And the only one that I found that wasn't in like my main like medium-sized yarn bin Kind of the yarn that I'm like, oh, I'll use this for other projects um, or for myself was this like light pink one and I thought it was super cute. And then I also have to pick out a lining, which I just need to find a piece of fabric that I have that is big enough for the bag. So I'll probably do that a little bit later in the process, but otherwise, you know, I gotta get my day started, have some breakfast, chill out for a little bit, and then I will start working on my sort of concept for how I'm going to make the base of the bag and then work my way up to the, um, the handle. Good morning, Goober. Did you enjoy your breakfast? Okay, I promise that this isn't like a coffee, crochet, and chat uh, is not what I'm doing, okay? This is a vlog, but I thought part way through, I really wanted to talk about, um, or there's something that I really want to talk about that I was like, I don't even know where to put this. It's not really an update, but I, I have decided that I want to get a little more serious about my Etsy shop and like really put more of my energy into it because I feel like before I have stated like it can be really stressful as a creative person to like constantly be putting things out but I feel like I'm finally in a headspace where I can actually sort of do that and I feel like I don't have a lot to lose here like 
it's not taking away from like a full-time job or something like that so like I think it'll do me well to like put more of my focus into my Etsy shop and like trying out new techniques and like new designs and I also I want to just add more things to it um I don't know like I'm an artist first and foremost so like the intricacies and social aspect of business really gives me a lot of anxiety as an autistic person um so a lot of my focus goes towards like creating and being creative so also i thought i would use this time to kind of like catch up a little bit um just on things i wanted to kind of talk about not like anything crazy just you know life stuff like one of my interests lately or like one of my i guess obsessions is like gamer setup <laughs> i don't know what to call it but I do work at my computer a lot, and I have kind of an, ex an expensive computer. Um, but I've been working really hard to get my setup to look really like nice and aesthetically pleasing. And you know, I try, I try. I don't have a lot of money, so, um, and it's not like anyone else really sees it except me. So it's just, it's neither here nor there. I sometimes I get these like fixations that are just like <laughs> I put a lot of money into it and it's like what the heck am I doing <laughs> but I don't know if it makes you happy I feel like it's you know worth it enough to to do it I don't know and I don't know I'm kind of insecure about it because I feel I never feel like things are like good enough you know and that's like the artist mentality is that like it stuff will never look right to me even if it like looks really good to other people hi patchy good morning Yeah, so I have a lot to do today. Well, not a lot, but some stuff. I gotta change my clothes, you know? Um, and I may take a shower this evening, but uh, for the most part, I'm gonna work on the bag and start editing this video um, for this week. And then I've got a few things I'm working on, some other crochet projects, which I don't know if I'll get to them because I don't wanna mess up my hands. Um, trying to like work on a thousand things at the same time um, But I also have to go to the eye doctor and Yeah, just some other Just little things I got to do You know cleaning also my parents cat is going to the vet. She's got to get some blood work done You know I gotta figure out what's wrong with her. She's like 14 years old, so it could honestly be anything so yeah we're not super worried though so no need to be worried about her just she's getting some blood work done so I'm trying to show them the little place I made for your brother look he's got his own little nook there so he can sleep I haven't been able to find anything to actually put in that spot like books or whatever so I was like hey maybe Patch will like it and he does lighting's weird but let's get started I left off I left off last night at about here so I guess we'll kind of see how much more I need to do before I work on a on a strap for it and this is how much I have of the first cake left. So it's definitely getting thinner, but it's still looking pretty good. I am at the point where I'm having to consider 
what I want to use as the lining. So this is how much I have of the bag and I'm trying to decide if I want to make it just a little bit longer, like maybe a couple more rows, but that won't take me very long. So I gathered up some options for the lining and it really is like a vibes thing. So like stick with me. So honestly, because it's just like a light pink, it can go with a lot of things. Um, I have this like black and white fabric. It's like, um, it's got a bunch of cities on it from around the world. So I thought that could be cute. Um, I also have this little like bunny in like a warm little nook sort of, I guess it's more of like a, what is it called? Like a little fort. And so I thought that even though they're not exact, like it's still a light enough color that it's still really sweet. Um, I also have this dark blue with like, it looks like maybe something along the lines of baby's breath on it. But I thought that that could be really pretty and really cute, but it might be a little too like floral. I'm not sure. It also might be too dark. So there's this gray cat one which could be cute, but I, yeah, that one's probably gonna be a no. Um, this one I pulled out cause it was gray, but it has like boats on it. So I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. This one's actually kind of a maybe. I, I kind of like the idea of having boats in it. Um, this one's really pretty too. This one's definitely up there. I just don't know if there's enough of it. And then last but not least, I have some Barbie fabric. So that could be really cute to go with this as well. I got my eyes checked and they're actually a lot better than I thought, but I started working on the, this is where we're at with the straps. I decided to do straps like this and then I think I'm going to reinforce them if I have the right materials a little bit later, but this is where I'm at. This is what I'm trying out, so. Yeah, we will see. How you feeling, buddy? Uh, I look like such a mess. All right, last day that I have to work on this stuff, Pretty much I am at the end. So pretty much I have finished the base of the bag and I've made the pieces to put on there for the bow. So I made like a little loop and like the little hanging off pieces. And so I'm just going to like put a little piece around them and sew it together and then Tuck in all my ends, I have to pick the fabric that I'm gonna use for the lining, and then I'm going to see if I have the pieces that I wanna use to kind of reinforce the, um, the strap a little bit more, but if I don't, then I'll just leave it. So, yeah, it's almost done. <laughs> Okay, I know I look like a mess, but we have reached the point at which I'm gonna pick the lining. So there's definitely enough of this one and this one. So I'm gonna wait till the end to show you guys which one I pick. And then to reinforce the strap, I'm thinking of using some, this like lacy ribbon that I have. And I'm just gonna like run it down the sides and see how it looks. If I don't like it, I'll just get rid of it.
Okay, I finished it. The ribbon didn't work out because I didn't have enough of it, but we'll see later if I decide to do something else to reinforce it. But essentially we've got the little shoulder bow and I've got the lining sewn in there and I decided to go with the little bunny one. So yeah, I think it's super cute and it was pretty easy to finish. Again, I finished this in about three days and of course I was like just like solely working on it so normally it would take me like much longer to finish it because I get I just procrastinate things but but yeah it's finally done I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, definitely down below let me know what tutorials you want to see from me because I know this wasn't a tutorial I still want to do something crochet related but uh, let me know tutorials you want to see or just other things that you want to see me make because there's a lot out there so yeah let me know down below and I think that's it for today so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.